Right, I've got a, an LG uh, OK55 uh, subwoofer here. Uh, basically, when you turn it on, it's showing um, emergency firmware update mode on the screen, and that's all it does. It doesn't do anything else. So let's open it up and see what we can see. So the way these come to bits is you take that, 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 that out, unscrew that, take all this out, undo all those screws on the side. You've got two more screws on it on both sides. Another on that side in that hole. So what you do, take all those screws out and then this bottom bit pulls outwards like that and then it drops down and same on the other side. And then um, this bit should then pull out from the bottom or pull down. And then uh, this top bit goes forward like that. And then on the front, there's some clips that come off. And then the whole top should come off then. How these come off is you take these two screws out and then you pull that back and then it kind of lifts off from the bottom and then it pulls down. Inside you've got that screw there which then lifts this up and then there's some clips under there you have to undo. That's your power supply board underneath there. When you get the back and sides off uh, you've basically got this uh, with all the screws in. Um, that is the uh, chip for one firmware, but it's not the one that gets corrupted. The one that gets corrupted is on the back of it, next to the um, the NAND chip. So that is a smaller flash one. I think that's about uh, 8 meg, and the other one's 16 meg chip. So yeah, don't flash that one. Flash the one on the back. That's just got the chip on there. It's programming it now. And that chip soldered back. All right, so we've got her plugged in. See whether it works. <laughs> hey, <laughs> epic. There we go. So, get it all pulled back together then. Nice. There we go. So yeah, that was just literally corrupted firmware.